Hey guys, Nick Romick here. It has been a while since I posted any videos, um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to post a, a bunch of videos after this. I'm starting a new show called Cooking with Vader, and I got to show you one of the purchases I made this week, and it's uh, it's really cool. So we're going to look into, uh, it's the Ruby's Darth Vader suit. I know Ruby's gets a lot of bad press. Uh, this one's kind of cool. There is a lot of work um, that needs to be done to the suit, um, especially since it's like huge. Um, this one's a used one that I picked up off of one of my buddies. Um, but I'm really excited about um, having this and it's going to be for the new TV show, kind of a silly spin-off um, show called Cooking with Vader. So I'm going to do a real quick, not an unboxing video, but a little kind of a review video and I'm going to show you what it looks like. All right, so this is most of it, uh, or this is all of it. Um, not all of this stuff came in the box here. Uh, I'm not, um, this is, this is a used thing. So there's a little bit of extra stuff here. So, uh, first of all, this is the see under suit. It's supposed to be one size fits all, but it is huge. I might've got the extra large one too. I don't know. That will have to be modified a bit because I'm not that big of a dude. So, um, here we go. We've got this uh, little uh, voice or light box thing. It's got some switches on it in the back. I think where we got here. And you got some lights. It's kind of neat. Um, also, here's the kind of something that goes on top of that uh, underneath, uh, separate from the cape. Um, and then here's the cape. And I don't know, I got some stuff on there. Um, it's a little scratched here. Um, but that's that's some, some stuff that I can fix, not a problem. Um, and then that's the, the cape and that part there. Um, then we've got the cod piece. Um, it comes with this. This actually Velcro's on. And then we've got two little boxes here. And they also light up. Like, so you can't really see, but they're, they're lit. Um, um, they do need a little bit of fixing. Um, I'm just going to put some wire mesh in there, paint it silver, fix those up. It's missing and it's used. Uh, some gloves. And we've got the shin guards here. Uh, there's two of them. And what's really cool is they kind of zip up on the back. That's both of them there. Here's the helmet. Really cool part. Um, it's kind of neat. Um, it's a full-size helmet. It's a lot bigger than... Um, it's kind of going to be probably a little silly looking. I think this is a full size one that's it's a one to one ratio of the one in the movie, which was six, seven foot dude, or six and a half foot. But uh, it's cool. Um, I got these these here. They actually happen to be in my size, um, size 12, but which is really cool. But um, those don't come with the with the Ruby's kit. Uh, so you have to buy separately, but they're kind of cool. Um, also, yeah, so that's, that's it. This is really cool because, um, it opens up slightly different from the cheaper version of the helmet that I have. Did a video on that one. Well, on. yeah, let's see if I can do that with one hand. Yep. Okay. So we've got kind of a Velcro here, kind of a Velcro in there and a clip. This is really comfortable because it's got a lot of padding here and then clips and straps and stuff like that. Almost it's way more comfortable than the cheaper version that Ruby's puts out. Um, and then kind of like a hole in there so that clips in so it doesn't wiggle as much. Also, we got this thrown in. Kind of a cool little thing. It's the button. Yeah. You know, snap that inside here somewhere. So there's actually a little part there. It's been added. This has been added. Um, and that's where you can put the, uh, just kind of snap this guy into there so you get some sound. So that's really cool. Anyway, so, um, yeah, I guess without further ado, I'm going to start wearing this thing. Well, as you can see, it's huge. Um, just getting everything all hooked up in here. But, uh, yeah, definitely, uh, Definitely has some room for, you know, fixing it, like, making it a little smaller. Thank God I know a lot of people in the film industry that have cost you. The next logical step would be kind of just to put these uh, boots on. I had to fold it in a little bit because it's super freaking huge. Um, but, yeah, put those boots on, zip them up. 
Next, I'd recommend putting these guys on, and uh, that way you can get your cod piece on afterwards. Just me, it is a pain in the ass otherwise. And then these ones, this is the cod piece, kind of step into it like a pair of underwear, which I wear weekly. There you go. And so now you can kind of see um, where the parts are kind of looking a little bit big. But the cool thing is we can kind of mix that with my butt. This kind of stuff. So now that we have the cod piece here, I know these are upside down. Well, at least one of them is. Um, but, you know, I'll fix that in my final stuff. So you put this thing on. It should have been done underneath. Yeah, that should have been done underneath the uh, stuff. So, um, and put that on over top, I think. Um, but we'll do that later. And then, uh, of course, we got this guy here. Um, throw that over top. There you go. Kind of starting to look like, you know, Master Chief or whoever it is, Darth Vader. We'll turn these guys on. What's up guys? <laughs> oh man. Lights are going? Good. Anyway. You guys want to start with some Chewbacca the Chip Wookies or what? <laughs> 